Sponsored by American Academy of Pediatrics. The children's mental health crisis in our country is really at a tipping point. Even before the pandemic, we know that that young people were really facing increased rates of mental health concerns. Prior to the pandemic, suicide was the second leading cause of death for adolescents, and the pandemic has only made that worse. You know, pediatricians, child and adolescent psychiatrists, and children's hospitals across the country are seeing increasing rates of children come into their into their clinics and their hospitals with with increasing numbers and severity of mental health concerns. So, you know, we really feel like this, this, the time is now. If we don't act now, children's health will continue to suffer and the mental health crisis will continue to, to, to endure for far beyond the pandemic. Uh, we have no time to waste, which is why we're declaring a children's mental health emergency. You know, as I said, we're, we're, with the, these are concerns that we were seeing before the pandemic, but the pandemic has really made them worse. Children have been facing social isolation and disruptions to their education education disruptions to their routine. And um, we also know that children are facing, facing really significant grief and loss. A recent study shows us that over 140,000 children in the United States alone have lost a caregiver to COVID. But we also know that this is a solvable crisis. There are examples across the country of effective and innovative ways to, to treat and support children for their mental health concerns. But we need to make sure that all children have access. We've seen very long waits for appointments, very long waits in emergency rooms. And so we need to invest the time and the resources to make sure that, that there are enough services for children and that children can access them in the places where they live, learn, and play, like the pediatrician's office, like schools, like in, like in their communities. Um, policymakers can help us by helping to raise the alarm. Policymakers can help us by making sure that they prioritize children's mental health um, in, their, in their resources, in their budgets, and in their priorities. Parents, teachers, coaches, other adults can help too. Um, first, you know, keep an eye out for, for the young people who you are around and who are in your life. If, if you're worried about them or if you notice that they're starting to act depressed or withdrawn or having changes in their behavior, check in with them and, and talk to a trusted, trusted health professional, a pediatrician or a child and adolescent psychiatrist to see if they need help and so that you can get them the help they need. You can also come together to help make sure that that we're doing the things for the children in our communities that they need, help provide them with the, the supports, help provide them with, with positive uh, relationships and positive things to do in their community. So we all play a role. If you have any questions or, or if you have want to learn more about children and children's mental health, please visit our website at healthychildren.org.